you don't want to miss how I turn this into this. Yes, this is a one pound wild caught filet of Chilean sea bass. Yes, the most sought after succulent fish in the ocean, otherwise known as the Patagonian toothfish, which you don't see that on menus because somehow it just doesn't sound quite as appealing as Chilean sea bass. I call it the audiophile of fish, uh, and that's due to its high demand, and low supply, and it's just one of the highest quality, best tasting fish you can purchase. Back in the 1990s, this fish became so popular on restaurant menus that rampant poaching and overfishing took place. It was said that the species was on its way to extinction. So during that time in the 2000s, uh, many, many great chefs and over 800 restaurants worldwide agreed to remove the Chilean sea bass from their menus. It was called the take a pass on Chilean sea bass movement. Well, if you saw the prices of this fish on restaurant menus and as well at gourmet markets, you might take a pass on the Chilean sea bass as well. And I remember back in the 90s and the 2000s when this fish was, you know, 18 to $24 a pound. And just recently, a couple years ago, I remember it going up to about $26 to $28 a pound. And I was still willing to pay that much because this fish is so damn delicious. And we don't eat it all the time, so it's a treat once in a while. But I will tell you this, our most recent trip to our favorite gourmet market for fresh fish, this one pound filet ended up costing me... <laughs> $60 a pound. I know that sounds crazy, and many of you can probably think of something better to spend $60 on, like a audiophile record, perhaps. But the way I look at it is, if me and my wife wanted to go out to dinner and enjoy a piece of fish of this quality, we would have to go to, first of all, a very high-end restaurant, and we would pay likely anywhere from $48 to $55 a plate for this dish, and that's not including sides, wine, dessert, and a tip. So after all is said and done, we're not getting out of that restaurant for less than $250 probably. But here in my kitchen, I haven't even hit the $100 mark, and I'm gonna show you how to make it delicious right in your own home. I served this decadent piece of fish atop a bed of creamy cauliflower puree. I used yellow cauliflower, half and half, fresh garlic, and chili powder from the iconic mountains of the Chimayo in New Mexico, where the chili is actually known more for its intense sweet and smoky flavor than it is for intense heat. So you don't have to worry about this dish being too spicy. I also used fresh Mexican epazote and fresh Mexican oregano from my backyard. I roasted baby carrots, baby green carrots, that I sliced in half lengthwise, along with some white asparagus and green asparagus and some cherry tomatoes. I par-cooked the baby green carrots along with the asparagus and set them aside. I'll show you how to finish the vegetables with the tomatoes right before plating. I cooked half of the head of cauliflower in three tablespoons of butter until it was softened. Then I added eight ounces of half and half, two to three cloves of garlic, four to five leaves of epazote, the chili powder, maybe a teaspoon to a tablespoon. You can do as much or as little as you want. The Mexican oregano, bring all of that to a boil and then reduce it and simmer that for 30 minutes until the cauliflower is good and soft. Remove 
the herbs and transfer that to a smaller pan and puree it until creamy and smooth with an immersion blender. Season with salt and pepper to taste. Meanwhile, you're gonna put your tomatoes, asparagus, and carrots under the broiler at the top as high as you can get it and get them nice and browned and heated up. Meanwhile, cook your fish in three tablespoons of butter and three tablespoons of olive oil, three to four minutes per side, and voila, you've got a beautiful plate with amazing textures and colors. You've got your roasted al dente vegetables, nice and caramelized, your flavorful cauliflower puree, and of course the star of the show is this amazing crusted piece of Chilean sea bass. Finish this with a nice big squeeze of lemon over the top to give the dish some acidity and Believe me, anyone you cook this for is going to be in heaven. Enjoy.